Welcome to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us. Today we show how to make your dolls a piano similar to American Girl's upright version in Melody's collection. Inspiration for this craft happened at breakfast time when looking at an almost empty cereal box. We also raided our scrap basket to turn leftover crafting materials into a beautiful piano perfect for the dollhouse. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to support our channel. So, let's get making! To start, we looked up the specifications for Melody's Piano on AG's website. To achieve similar dimensions, our cereal box works best tipped on its side. Now it is 28 centimeters wide and 9 centimeters deep, but we need two matching boxes to achieve the right height. On your first box, draw a large rectangle for the upper piano panel. Cut along the top and side lines only. Fold along the bottom line to crease your paperboard. Next, measure up 9 centimeters from the creased line and fold again. Put glue on the back side of the paperboard, then push it inwards to adhere the tab to the back wall of the cereal box, making a shelf. From more recycled paperboard, draw a rectangle 28 by 15 centimeters with tabs that are seven centimeters deep. Fold and adhere the tabs, making a tray. Apply glue to the tabs, then slide the tray into your cereal box. The upper panel is now recessed. To match the detail seen in Melody's piano, cut, stack and glue three paperboard rectangles, then measure in three centimeters from all sides to cut out a window. Glue this piece to the upper panel. Here we cut scraps of foam board to close up the top and side gaps and give the walls added strength. It's optional, but we used puffy lace stickers from our scrapbooking stash to decorate the corners of our recessed window for a pretty filigree look. Now we want to make the area for the keyboard. Measure 3.5 centimeters below the ledge. Measure and mark another 3.5 centimeters below this. You can see we drew a dashed line. Cut along the sides and bottom of your cereal box. Fold and crease the paperboard at the dashed line and again at the original 3.5 centimeter line. Put glue on the underside of the paperboard, then fold it backward, securing under the ledge. It should look like this. Now open flat the bottom of your first box so we can connect it with our second cereal box. We only need another 10 centimeters. Depending on the size of your box, you may need more or less. Be generous with your glue when adhering the second box as we want a strong connection. As before, we cut scraps of thick foam board to reinforce the side walls. The piano side profile walls are made from more paperboard. Start with a 33 by 15 centimeter rectangle. The top 15 centimeters will be the same depth as your cereal box. For us, that's nine centimeters. Cut away the excess. Measure down 3.5 centimeters for the side arm, giving it rounded corners. Freehand or trace a curved line below the side arm to the bottom corner of your rectangle. Cut a matching piece from thick foam board and glue to your paperboard. Repeat to make a second, but only adhere one side wall for now. From cardboard or foam board, cut the keyboard support piece. Glue it into the cereal box. Then attach your second side wall. Here we cut away the excess cereal box at the bottom of the piano. Then mounted strips of foam board to give the legs more height and detail, just like the AG version. Our piano is ready for painting. Melody's version is a golden brown tone, but for our piano, we went with a classic mission brown color. To complete the top, we cut, stacked, glued and painted more paperboard rectangles than are fixed in place. For the keyboard area, cut and paint a thick rectangle of foam board. Glue it to the support piece we secured earlier. Next, cut a shorter, narrower strip of five mil foam board. In pencil, draw vertical lines to define the white keys. AG's version has 22. From black fun foam, cut and adhere 15 black keys. Glue this piece to your thick foam board. Now add short strips of thick foam core to close in the ends. 
To make the trio of foot pedals, draw onto paperboard a 4cm long teardrop shape with a flat top. Trace, cut and stack three shapes per pedal. Bend the top centimetre upward for a tab. Using hot glue, carefully build up the thickness of the pedal to match the ones from Melody's set. Once dry and hard, paint gold. With more hot glue, adhere your pedals to the centre bottom of the back wall, evenly spacing them apart. We made the piano stool from foam cork, two kitchen sponges, balsa wood scraps from an older project, and white cotton fabric. Hot glue a balsa wood leg to each corner of the foam core seat. Then glue a two centimetre wide scrap of foam board between the legs, providing added strength to hold the weight of an AG doll. Paint the stool brown to match the piano. Next, lay your sponges on the fabric and wrap it up like a present, using hot glue to secure the cotton to the sponge. Apply hot glue to the seat and press the cushion down for a good connection. For a final touch, we found this green piano book printable at Read Creations, link in description box. It will make a cute accessory for the dolls. We'd love it if you hit that like button, subscribed and turned on the bell to get notified when a new video drops. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun!